Good morning, and welcome to our devotional series, Encountering the God Who Sees. The title of our devotion today is Return. The Bible reading comes from Genesis chapter 16, verse 9. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, before we open your word, we want to seek counsel from the Holy Spirit that he may be our guide. May he help us to understand the scriptures. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am reading from the New King James Version. And the Bible says, The angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress and submit yourself under her hand. May God bless the reading of his word. This is not the advice Hagar wanted to hear. The treatment she had received from Sarai was terrible. The last thing she wanted to do was go back and submit herself to such inhuman treatment. But that's what God was telling her to do. Sometimes God's solutions may sound unpopular. Because, humanly speaking, everybody thinks our behavior toward others depend on how they treat us. But in the case of Hagar, God told her, return to your mistress and submit yourself under her hand. You know what, friends? God understands. And when we do the right thing, even if it is very hard, God sees, God notices, and in the end, he blesses us. This does not mean that God tolerated Sarai's harshness to Hagar. Actually, he will punish those who misuse their authority. Hagar was to return and humbly submit to her mistress. Meekness is a trait of character God looks for in his children. Humility requires us to admit our wrongs even when we do not understand our situation because pride makes us miss the blessings God has in store for us. Remember, Hagar was running away from people who worshipped the true God, the household of Abram, to Egypt. What was there in Egypt that could give her peace? She was leaving a place of light for a very dark one, fellow single parents. Maybe you had accepted the God who sees as your Redeemer. But now because of problems in your life as a single parent, you are leaving him. You were faithfully saving the Lord. Now your heart is so cold toward him. Gradually, you are pulling yourself from the God who sees. Like Hagar, you are on a wrong path. And God is saying, return. Where does the path you are taking end? Not just for a moment, but beyond the day of judgment. Is the desert better than being part of God's family? God's command is a call to you and me to return to him. He is calling you and me to do one thing, return to him who is our master and provider. The devil may tell you to have other solutions to your problems as a single parent, but the God who sees is saying in Zechariah chapter 1 verse 3, return to me, says the Lord of hosts, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. Return to me is a reminder of God's unconditional love to us who are running away from him. It is a call, dear friends, of restoration, restoring that personal relationship with our God who sees. Yes, dear friends, we might have been running away from his presence, but today he is saying, return, return to me and I will return to you. May God help us to return to him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this reminder that you are seeking to have a restored relationship with us. Help us, Heavenly Father, to return back to you because you are the God who sees and you understand our situation more than we do. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Holy Spirit help each one of us to return to our God who sees. Amen. Amen.